Hi guys, it's Stephanie with the Soul Sister Monarch channel and we're back to do the fire signs reading, okay? Alright, so I did go ahead and pull a chakra card for you guys, which I will always do. And what we got, which everybody's working on all the elements and the zodiac signs, it's the moonstone. So get a moonstone. This will help you with your crown chakra and as you're going through the different moon cycles, which we're going through, which now we're getting ready to go through a pink moon. So look up the pink moon, okay? It's another one of the super moons. All right. And here is a piece of moonstone, okay? And then I also pulled aqua marine. So the aqua marine is for communication, okay? Communication. All right. And here is an aqua marine. Okay, so this will help with communication, that'll help with your throat chakra as well, the moonstone, helps with your crown chakra, helps you go through these moon cycles much easier, okay? So, what else was I gonna tell you? Oh, okay, so I was gonna let you know, I know when I'm reading, some of you don't understand some of the terms, sometimes you feel confused, so if you do, you, ha you continually watch, you'll catch on to the different terms, and some of you are in different places in your awakening, so certain things you will understand more, certain things you will not resonate with. And not every reading will you resonate, resonate with either, because there's millions of you out there with your energy that we um, communicate in through. And then spirit guides, angels, and all that give me messages and the cards tell the story, the journey that you're on, the options, the choices you have, maybe some of the obstacles that come up, some of the challenges, and also some of the celebrations and the good things. So, I mean, it's up to you. It's all energy. But if it doesn't resonate with you, then just let it go. But there's definitely messages, no matter what I put in here, that there, there's different things that you can always use, okay? So, just remember that. Um, and as we go along, you'll get me how I read more and understand the way I do things. And I'm always trying to teach you guys something, give you things to manifest with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put out a video that's just on um, crystals and stones. My cousin, we Skyped, oh my gosh, last week and her daughter and I for like almost three hours, yeah. And she requested me to do this. So I'm going to do probably a part one and a part two video of it and I'll get those out as well. Um, keep Oracle Hour going. There's lots of messages in there for you guys that are all spiritually inclined, um, that you're on different levels of your journey, you're going through different ascensions, and then I will still do videos on um, transformation and metamorphosis and the different types of awakenings, where you're at, what's happening to you, what's going on. And then I will do things like tips, tricks, and tools to help you through your journey and different things like that. So. Anyways, stay with me. This is a journey that we're all on together, myself as well. So we're all going through this. And last week, um, a lot of the signs went through a lot of transformation, some rough energies. Um, so keeping that in mind, a lot of people close some cycles and they've got a bunch of new beginnings going on. And then there's others that they're, you know, they're still learning some lessons that maybe they didn't want to quite, you know, get what the spirit was telling them, get the messages, or they were ignoring their intuition. So they're gonna go through another cycle of hmm, basic health. So anyway, um, but you guys, your energy felt really good when I like um, was thinking about you guys and pre-shuffled a bunch of cards. And so um, I wanted to start out with a fun message for all of my fire signs. So Sag and Aries and Leo. Okay, guys, these are you guys. This will be a fun little message for you. And this is called the Wild Offerings of Ganesha. Okay. And if you guys want readings, like I say, go ahead and send me an email, soul sister. 951 at gmail.com. You can go to my Facebook, which is Soul Sister Enterprises, or my Instagram, which is Soul Sister V, and message me, and I would love to do personal reading for you or Reiki. So go right ahead and get a hold of me, all right? 
All right, let's see the message for you guys. Oh, you got two that popped right up. All right, let's see. What do we got? All right, we have self-sufficiency. The ultimate self-sufficiency -sufficien is relying on God. It doesn't mean hiding in a cave and saying, I don't need people. Instead, it's saying, God is my source, and I'm willing to receive all the help, love, and support that wants to come. All right. Body. Show me divine how to love and fully care for my body. Please give me the irradiant miracle of accepting my body as it is. Oh, I was going to show you guys that card. That was kind of... There's that one. Here's the body. So you guys need to work on having some better health, eating better, taking better care of yourself, self-care. Feelings. Emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow my dear divine to offer all the emotions to you, feeling them fully so they no longer hold me captive. Okay? That's a great card too, guys. Dealing with your emotions, not stuffing them down. And clarity. Some of you have been waiting for clarity. Let me trust my deepest instincts and intuition in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. I see that? Okay. All right, guys. So you got a lot of messages here. Okay. So that would be spirit guide messages. All right. Let's get some tarot out and have some fun. All right. We're going to go with this one. This is my Tarot Grand Lux. And let's do the Sagittarius, the Leo, and the Aries need to know our fire signs. I hope you guys had a really good week. Sorry I've been behind on getting these out. Typically, I will have these uploaded by Sunday, but I've had a lot going on. So, anywho. There we are. We, I will get all you guys' videos out. Don't you worry. Getting some new equipment and things to do to make everything that much better. So, and we have some other exciting projects and things coming up that, have, that we're getting in order. We'll get to talk about in a while for you guys that you like. All right. More fun stuff. All right. Here we go. Fireside. It's a main energy. Okay, somebody has been crying over spilled milk here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Who is this? Somebody's crying over spilled milk. Something happened. Yep. Two of cups. Two of cups here. Two lovers. Possibly somebody found out about Let's see. Tell me. Scott. What about those two of cups? Oh, somebody's had a hard road. They're tired. Look at them. Very tired. Had a hard road. Yep. See that? He's picked up all those sticks. He's had enough. He's been in a battle. Yep. Yep. It's one energy. So this is you guys. This is your own energy here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we got the devil. We got Capricorn energy here. Hmm. Ooh, this could be bad behaviors, habit, patterns, obsessions. Let's see. Let's clarify this. Yep, let's do this. All right, let's see. Talking about the devil energy. More about the devil energy. Fire signs, low energy and fire signs. Fire signs, fire signs, low energy. Woo! All right. It's Queen of Wands. She flipped out like that, so. Mm mm. This is not good. No, 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 no. When she's up forward, she's in her mystical powers. She is very mad. She can manifest like crazy this way. Yep. She can do all kinds of things, but she can be very deceptive when she comes in this way, okay? That's what this devil energy is about. Now, this can be, it's another, it's another fire sign, so male, female, it can go both ways, guys. Male, female here. But somebody is not in their good energy. They're very deceptive right now. They may be coming in very seductive, very lustful. 
but they're coming in for the wrong reasons. And you got the devil right behind that. But ooh, yeah, that's that's your calm. It's not good. That's somebody coming with bad intentions. Okay, let's see. Oh boy, what's going on, guys? Jeez, it's filling your energy with so much better earlier. Okay, we got the Knight of Wands here too. He's involved. Okay. So, we got the Knight of Wands on the board, which this is him here. He's done with that battle. He's on his horse, but the Knight of Wands comes in. He's, that's kind of your player. It's kind of your player energy, so here you go. He's in that devil energy. It's that deceptive energy. He, mm, mm, mm. And then coming in wrong like this, coming in wrong, I mean, this could be all kinds of stuff that you we you don't want any part in yep and then you got uh, got the page of wands upside down mm -mm, not good either no you don't want the page of wands upside down no 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 that's coming into that's totally immature energy um it, it's not good nope 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 this could be a lie what spirits tell me this could be a lie about a pregnancy a baby maybe um a child but there, there's there's some there's this is all about passion though something that passionately happened that shouldn't have something went wrong there's lies here okay so then we have three of coins okay so this is like taurus energy um that's somebody that's been sitting back and working hard here, but there's like three people involved in this money here. It's, yep, three people involved. So it's possibly you have the the Queen of Wands upside down. You've got the Devil here. Um, yeah, 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 and you have this Knight of Wands. So we'd rather that he comes in as a king than a knight, but you know. There's also, I mean, that could be a teenager that's in trouble as well. Some of you have teenagers that's been up to no good. So, knights can be teenagers, and just like pages can be kids, or it can be pages can be really immature energy, but it depends on how the cards come in. You know, just like knights. Knights can be teenagers, or they can be an adult that's very immature. That, is like a player playboy play guru but you know that's their lifestyle that's how they live but they con people manipulate people so let's see all right clarity on spirit tell us more tell us more we need to know more what is going on here all right all right so we're going to separate this we're going to put the devil energy down we're going to put the this queen of wands in the middle that she's not right. And let's ask spirit. All right. Tell us about this devil energy first. The devil is Capricorn. This devil. What is this about? This devil energy. Turn the energy to spirit. Whoa. Woo. Somebody got stabbed in the back. Big time. Yeah. Okay. Yep, this is them in complete distress. This Capricorn. Pissed. Yeah. This is like in your head, freaking out, playing mind games on yourself. Maybe other people playing mind games on you. And with this Queen of Wands in the reverse, this could be some things that she's been doing to you. Yep. Yep, the devil and that Queen of Wands backwards. This could be some kind of relationship that's gone wrong. There could be children involved. Oh, yeah, and then we have the three of wands here. So somebody is, is <clears throat> standing back and made a decision to let things go. See how they're holding one wand now? They've made a decision. This devil energy has made a decision, my guess, to let this queen of wands go. Okay. All right, let's see about this knight of wands. Knight of wands. What's his deal here? Huh. Just like I said, those knights come in fast. They come in, they sleep with you, they eat your food, raid your fridge, and then they leave, and then they go down the street to the next girl's house and do the same thing. 
or vice versa. It's a girl that does this to guys, okay? And they was coming fast. There's the chariot coming in fast. Yep, yep. And see how he's coming in? Okay, that's your dark and your light side. That's what these horses are, represent. Okay? So, they're going away from each other. He does not have himself in balance. He's coming in fast and hard and going to leave the same way. Yep. See that? Yep, it's cancer energy, so there's maybe a cancer involved here too, okay? With this Knight of Wands, which is, you guys, fire sign energy. Yeah, and then we have that Page of Wands that came in reverse. So like I said, coming in with really immature energy. Yeah, coming in talking to you like, you're like, what, really? Are you kidding me? That's the best you got? Mm-hmm. That's how that goes, right? Okay, let's see. Mm. Yep. Coming in as the king, whoops, let's see, yeah, oh no, yeah, king, not knight, king of pentacles, upside down, okay, mm -mm, no, this is the knight you want, he's the slowest knight, just like the slowest king, slowest page in the deck, and when they get there, they, they're upside, right, that's the man you want, of course, that's the greatest king there, because he's got his shit together, okay, but like this, ooh, no, this is a phony offer, mm-hmm, this could has something to do with this. There's money. Yep, money, money. When I said this is three here, this is this now makes sense. This is a plan. Somebody's putting a plan together for somebody working hard. Okay, let's see. All right, now we're gonna go back to. Huh, we're gonna go back to this. This Queen of Wands upside down. Screw this Queen of Wands upside down. What's her objective here? What's her objective? What's her, what's, her, what's her objective? What's her involvement here? Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, the worst. Nasty. What is she? Huh. Well, she's been waging her own battle, that's for sure. Seven of Wands? Mm hmm. That's trickery. Mm hmm. That's up to no good. No good, no good. Bloodshed. But this is somebody causing it. Yeah, I'm thinking they're getting away with it. Yep. I knew she was up to something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three of Cups, okay? Three of Cups. Three party here. Three party situation. She's filling more than one cup, okay? Make him in reverse. Mm hmm. Deceptive energy again. So deceptive. All right, we're going to ask Spirit because I think she's going to get found out. Let's see. She ain't found out. She found out. My right came in reverse because people know. Ooh, 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 the emperor knows. <laughs> so this is Aries energy. This is all the kings put together, darling. Whoever you are, or whoever you you could be, this could be a man, and he's in his feminine nasty energy. And he has more, I mean, he's just in his phantom side more right now and using that to manipulate, you know, with, which it could be, that could work very well for him because he'd be very charming, empathetic, vulnerable, you know, women love that. So that could be that too. But the, uh, this emperor here, okay, let's see. Ooh, let's ask, uh, huh. There's lovers involved here. Gemini energy. Ooh. See the lights? Yeah. Okay, there's really all right. This emperor. He knows. He knows about the lovers. Okay. He knows about the lovers. Alright, spirit. Oh yes, and the secrets. Ooh, there's secrets here. Yeah, I'm sorry. This <laughs> is coming to the surface. Oh, you guys, I hope this isn't bad for some of you, but you know what? It's better to rip this band-aid off now than later, or it's going to be way worse, because there's some secrets here and deception going on. It's great to tell me. All right, the secrets. Tell us more about these secrets, please, for the fire signs. More. Well, Libra. So, this is justice. There could be a Libra involved, or... Justice is being served and going to be brought forward. But it also could be a Libra doing this. That is, I mean, the Sagittarius 
Aries or Leo has something to do with the band. Remember, fire signs. Here you are, my dear. In your power. So you know about these lovers right here. And the secrets and the lovers would be this Queen of Wands reversed. You gotta. Yep. And this Knight of Wands reversed. And this Capricorn. Okay. So you've, I mean, you've got Capricorn here. You got Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and you got Sagittarius, Leo, Aries again. Then you have the Aries on the board as the Emperor, which he's the one that's he's putting this whole puzzle and this piece together about the lovers, which could be Gemini that could be involved with a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, and then you have the there's Libra here, so it could be the Emperor. He's bringing justice forward on the lovers. He knows all about this Three of Cups, the deceit that's been going on. Yep, 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 yep. Here's the Three of Cups right there. There he is thinking. Yep, but there's that one cup that he wants. Mm-hmm. He knows about this person and their Three of Cups. Okay, so what is going to be the outcome of this? What's going to be the outcome of this situation? Ooh, you guys, you got to have some stuff going on. You can handle it, though. You guys can handle it. Yep, yep, whatever this is for, could be several people. All right, tower, Ooh. well, this is Scorpio energy, it's reversed though, let me see something. All right, so here, all right, all right, <clears throat> the tower reversed here, this is, it's all come to the surface, or he's brought it to the surface, and see him right there celebrating, mm-hmm, he knows all about this, that's too many choices, too much going on, he's sitting back laughing, Knowing this is him, or this could be Scorpio energy too, or Scorpio involved, but this is detached. No, you don't. This is not good energy. This is very upset. This could be conjuring up a plan to do something naughty. Mm -mm, mm -mm, detaching, uh, not good, not good, not good. And <sighs> yeah. Somebody is, this is Eight of Cups. That would be studying, working on their money, coming up with a plan, working hard at work, but reversed. Bad deal here. Something about a bad deal going wrong. Yep, with money involved. And this, Emperor knows. He knows, he knows, he knows. So you, you guys, you got a lot. I mean, a lot here going on. All right, let's, I don't, I'm done with this deck. I don't want to clarify with this deck. Let's, you know, let's throw some Oracle cards here on this. Okay, let's ask Spirit. What about this money? What about this decision for the air signs? What do they need to know? I mean, not air signs, sorry, fire signs. Let's see, there's an air sign. They gotta be involved, because, and see, somebody does not want us to figure this out either. Hey, get our stuff up the way you are. All right, here we go. Fire signs. All right, guys, I want you to use this week the number 99, okay? It's a very, very, very spiritual number. It helps you center ground, helps you going through ascensions, moon cycles, um, and then you want to use the number 9999 as a very high, powerful number two that helps you spiritually re-energize mind, body, soul, ground, center as well, and it gives you some protection. So start writing those numbers, using them with your manifestation, saying them in your head every day, writing them down somewhere, so you see them and repeat them, okay? All right. What do we have here? Choices. There's Michael. See the good and the light and the dark there? See the message coming in? Okay. 
There's going to be choices here, you guys. There's choices to be made. This is big time choices. Somebody's going to have some choices. Make sure you make the right one for yourself, okay? Use your intuition. See how you feel, the vibes you get. You'll know. Yep, messages. You got a message coming in. You're going to know. Be careful. That knight, that knight, the knight of wands energy. That queen of wands reverse. They told you that, that king of cups reverse. The devil energy here. Okay, careful. These messages. Don't respond if you don't feel like it. You don't even have to. Nope, you can disregard it. Pretend like you didn't even see it. All right. This is about some kind of an oath that somebody took here, guys. Somebody could be in a partnership with somebody. It could be a marriage. It could be, you know, just girlfriend and boyfriend. It could be a, like a business deal. But there's some kind of an oath here. And the message is going to come about that. What else about this message and this oath from the fire sign? Message and oath from a fire sign. Message and oath from a fire sign. <clears throat> They're going to come in acting all playful. What did I tell you? Knight of Wands. He is a player. And that page energy, the wands. Yep. Come in. Be careful. Tell me about this. Alright. Secrets again. Remember, we had secrets. Secrets, secrets. Uh, yep, yep, yep. The end. The end. Oh, okay, that's a good one. way to end it. Oh, guys, see, there was lust involved. Look at the bottom of the deck. Lust involved. Lust involved. That's why that oath didn't hold through, okay? You need to be obedient with yourself, okay? Be obedient. Be true to yourselves, guys. Spirit is telling me, be true to yourselves. Okay, you know, th there's, there's secrets here, you guys. Secrets, secrets, secrets. Oh, man. Yep, yep. That's why the guy, somebody was in over the weekend, all week, crying over spilled milk, feeling awful. I'm so sorry, whoever you are. That makes my heart for you. Yep. See, there's that moon card again. Look at that devil energy. You see that? Mm -mm -mm. Page of Wands reverse. Okay. That's a little, no, he's like a little stalker. He's a faker, makes fake accounts, drives by your house. Yeah, yeah. There's your playboy coming in to play you. Yep, there's your playboy. Okay. But there's an emperor here. There is an emperor here that knows it all, that wants to make something right with somebody. He knows, and he may be the person bringing all these secrets forward. He knows about this whole situation. Remember? Told you her. She's upside down. She's a nasty one. Nasty one. She can play with dark arts, black magic, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. But she obviously doesn't know what she's doing. Nope, nope, nope. Because she got boosted. Yeah. All the secrets are coming out. Justice will prevail, I promise you. There may be a Libra involved bringing that, too. But, you know, this chair, we don't want to see them driving away from each other. We want to see them, those horses, in line together. Okay? So that's not good. Not good. And we don't want to see the king of pentacles upside down. That's how he's coming in. It's about money. It's an offer, a lie, with emotions. But you guys, you know it's coming. Okay, so over these lovers, and they had something about money going on. Three could be up to three different people here involved. And that was in the reverse. We had all the pentacles. In, so there's a plan, a scheme, something that was being worked on. And this. Emperor, he knows. He figured it out. He's, he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. But there's one cup there. That's one person that he wants. He or she wants to get to and knows the truth. And there's secrets. Secrets again at the end. But conclusion. The conclusion. So it's all coming out. So you guys, it's soon. It's coming. Stand in your ground. Stand in your power. Let's get you guys some little angel cards. All right. Yep. So now you guys know what to avoid. You know what to be careful to look for. And if this isn't really, if this doesn't even have anything to do with me, then it's not your story. Okay. All right. You guys, remember to like, subscribe, and share, please, so we can get me monetized eventually. Branch our community out and build it with more like minded people like us. All right. We're here to do our light work. That's what we're here to do. All right. Here we go.
flexibility, okay? Visualizations. This is going to be with meditation. You need to calm yourself down. You need to learn how to work with crystals. Lay down, listen to music. I have created a playlist for you guys. A playlist you can go into that there's healing music. And I also created a um, playlist that has just mis miscellaneous music right now. But it's just like all different things I channel. So there could be a song in there for some of you. That somebody is trying to channel messages, messages to you in. And it's music that I love. So some of it I grew up to. So anyway. It's just all music, different things, so feel free. Um, but the healing stuff I think you guys will really like. And I'll keep adding to that, so go check that out as well and use it to your benefit, okay? All right, and there's vi videos in there that's called Inspiration that a lot of people I follow and have watched over the years. Feel free to go in and listen to that stuff as well, all right? It's all there to help you guys out on this journey. All right, so. Remember what I said about visualizations, your own way of meditation, serenity, okay? Wholeness, that's living in the now, okay? Being one. And you have a blank wish. Send it to the angels, send it up to the angels, okay? Light an incense, like a big incense like here I have going. Light that. Sit and think about it, why it's on fire, and it starts to smolder up, and then blow it out and send that up to your angels, okay? I never not light an incense and do that. Every and if I have a client over, I'm working with somebody, they get to do it. Everybody knows that about me when they come to my house. And forgiveness. Bring forgiveness into this, your heart. For whatever this is and it's gone on, it's not worth being hardened over, being bitter, being angry, because the only person you're hurting is you. Trust me, I know how this works. Been there, done it. Let's give you guys a little extra special, cute little message, okay? These are my cute little Ricky messages. The little baby cards that we love. There's no affirmation. Let's give them some of our cute fire signs. The fire signs we love. Oh, yeah. I think I told you guys we have a contest going on. You guys, all your elements and your zodiac signs. Whoever does the most like subscribes and shares this month. Um, I'm going to do an extra reading for you guys. So, so far, the air signs are in the lead. And then um, the water signs. And then you guys and the earth signs are trailing. But that doesn't surprise me. The earth signs are, you know, okay. There we go. So, like, subscribe, and share. A blessing from the light. A blessing from the light. I have another message for you guys too. I wrote down. I wanted to share. Okay, a couple of cute little messages to leave you with. All right. Blessings from the light. You are dearly loved and more than you can possibly imagine, and you are never alone. A universe of love and light surrounds you and shares you with blessings that ebb and flow in your heart. If you guys can't hear this video too, so you know. Just turn the volume up on whatever device you have. I have it up as loud as I can, but people have said that. So, infinite blessings. Blessings flow to and from you endlessly, expanding in all directions, filling you with the healing light that guides you upon your blessed path. Rainbow light flows from your heart, creating infinite peace. And that's what both those cards look like. All right. And we have the blessing of positive thought. Each time you notice a negative thought come across your mind, stop and consciously replace it with a positive one. Practice this until the pattern is broken. You will set yourself free. This is a blessing you give to yourself and will lead you to a feeling of deep peace and contentment. Just like the numbers I tell you, okay? A blessing from the beloved love unfolds your wings and you fly high above the earth into the realm of heaven. Blessed by the light of her beautiful soul, you enter the Emerald's Heart of the Divine Mother, which is full of eternal blessings. The world is your playground waiting to be explored, beloved. Okay, guys. So here's some awesome messages for you. And then, oh, okay. Wanted to tell you guys for abundance and protection, get yourself some obsidian, pyrite. There's some labradorite. Um, oh, 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 well, this is a big, huge thing. See that ball right here? This is my special Buddha ball. It's a Buddha, many blessings. This is obsidian. There's only so many actually in the world, but very special. 
Very special. Holds a lot of power in that thing. So that's obsidian, labradorite, mahogany. Okay. Mahogany, onyx mahogany. Here you go. Spiritual attacks and protection, especially. And, oh. Macolite. Um, where is it? Green. Oh, here it is right here. M-A-L-C-H-A-N-I-T-E. Okay. All right. So, a few things for you guys um, that I wanted to give you. I want you to look out for more videos as we go along this fun journey together. I thank you for coming and being with me tonight. And you have a blessed rest of your week. And remember, nothing but love and light. Okay, you guys have a great week. Bye-bye.